Hey guys, Fubbleeky here today, and we're going to be talking about logic gates. Um, now this might sound a bit confusing at the start, but I'm going to explain all of them, and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about by the end of this. So, straight up, we've got, we're going to be looking at three different types today. The first is going to be the NOT gate, which is going to be the simplest. We've looked at this before in one of the, uh, the previous episodes. Um, then we've got an AND gate, and an OR gate. Um, I probably should have done these the other way around, but that's okay. So, first of all, what's a logic gate? Um, basically, I guess a way to describe it is a logic gate is a type of circuit that will accept an input and give a certain output for the type of input you give it. Okay, that was a really bad explanation if you don't know what I'm talking about. I guess the easiest way to, to do it is to actually show you and, and explain it as we go. So, we'll have a look at the NOT gate here. This is what we've done before. We know that because we already know that to turn off a torch, we have to send a power to the block below it. And that will turn off the torch. So we know that much. But what this gives us the ability to do is actually to put more redstone here, which is now off. But if we remove the input, that will turn on. So as you can see, it's actually just inverting the redstone signal up at that point. So as, oh god, as we turn it on and off, you'll see that the signal inverts. And that is a NOT gate. Over here is just the way I've built it that makes it simpler and smaller than the other one. So we'll build it again over here so we know that we can turn off a redstone torch by providing a signal to it. So we've got it on at the moment and we've got our output is on. So if we then provide a signal to it, it will turn off. So that's what that's doing. So instead of just on and off, having an on input will have an off output. So, oh jeez, I keep destroying the dirt everywhere. I'm a menace. Uh, so over here on this one, we can look at it here, we've got our lever. Our lever is powered on, which turns off the torch, which turns off this light here. But as soon as we turn our lever off, our light will turn on. So that's a NOT gate. Um, we're going to skip the AND gate for now, we'll come back to that in a moment. Um, but we'll have a look at the OR gate. Um, I'll show you what it does first. So at the moment we've got both inputs on. Um, and what that does, it turns off the torch up here. So this is like having a NOT gate. What we've just done a second ago, a NOT gate. So we put our torch on top, and our input is going to turn it off. You can see that. This is what this is what we ha have over here. So this is what we have at the moment. They're both off. But what we're going to do now is actually join them together with a single piece of redstone. And what you'll see this do is, it's pretty interesting. So now if we turn one of the torches on, you'll see that this turns on. But this torch is still off, because it's got a, it's got a signal coming into it from the block below. Um, now if we turn that torch back off, and we turn this torch on, the same thing will happen, but on the opposite side. And then if we turn both of them off, uh, both these off, you'll see it's still on because both of the torches are on. Um, so now what we can do with this is actually have an output coming from this single piece of redstone like this. Um, and now what this is going to do is it's going to turn this signal on here if one or both are off. And that's where the name OR comes from, believe it or not. So if we come over here and look at our working example, you'll see that both of them are on now, so our output is off. But as soon as we turn one off, it will turn on. So that's one or the other. Now if we do the same on this side, the same thing will happen. So it's one or the other, or both, of course. So we can have both off, and it'll turn on. One off, and it'll turn on. So that's an OR gate. That's exactly what it's doing. It's one or the other input. So you can have two inputs, and either one can be on. Right. Um, so this is actually useful if, you ha if you're trying to use levers and uh, I guess if you want to open a door or something from two different places but you want to use one input to the door. It's, it's actually kind of a dumb way to do it. But anyways, that, that's, I've got some examples over there that I'm going to show you a bit later as we move on. Um, right here, now, we've got the AND gate. As you'll see, the AND gate at first glance looks pretty much identical to the OR gate. And it, it, it is, really, except there's one, there's one difference. On this side, you'll see there's actually a torch here instead of redstone. And what that is doing is actually pretty interesting. I didn't mean to do that. Um, if we put a torch here, and we put redstone up here, what's going to happen now is, we know that powered redstone turns off a torch. So this redstone is now turning off this torch. And what that, in effect, has done, has made this an AND gate, which I will explain more right now, of course. Um, and if we turn one of these switch, uh, levers on, this torch is going to go off, but this redstone is still on. So that's going to make this torch remain off. And then if we turn this one on, 
it's going to turn the redstone off and this torch on. So they're both off. Um, so it's this lever and this lever, hence the and. Um, and then the, in, the output will be on. But if we only have one, it's going to be off. If we have both off, it's going to be off. So you have to have both to be, to be able to turn this one on. Um, so I hope that that's kind of explained it to you a bit. Um, and what that's doing, we'll go over it quickly right now. We'll go from the beginning over here. So we've got our NOT gate. So our input is on and our output is off. It's just a simple block with a redstone torch that uh, inverts the signal. That's what that's doing. Then we'll move over to our OR gate. Um, here we have this and we have two inputs where one or the other can be off uh, or on to uh, light up the glowstone over there. But if we turn both on, then that's going to be off. So we can have both off or one off and then it will light up. So it's one one input or the other or both. Um, then we've got the AND gate which is actually a combination of the OR gate and the NOT gate. So you see up to the top here we have the, the OR gate and then down the bottom here we have a single torch that will mean that we have to have both inputs on to be able to turn that on. So we have to have both levers switched on for that light to activate. Right, um, I'm, I'm feeling like this is pretty confusing stuff to be to try and explain. But I'm going to go over here anyways, we're going to have a look at the examples I've made. This one here is going to be an AND gate. So if I switch one lever, it's not going to work. If I switch just the other one, it's not going to work. But if I switch both, the door will open up like that. And I'll show you what I've done here to make this work. So basically, the lever powers this redstone line here. Well, it powers this torch here first, as you can see. It'll... Hang on, I'll do it over here. <laughs> it's easier to show it when it's not part of it. Right, so this lever is now powering this block, which we can see if we put redstone straight under it like that. You can see it's powering this block. Um, and what that's going to do, if we chuck a torch on the back, it's going to turn off the torch when we turn on the lever. And then this torch will power redstone that's directly below it. So when we flick the lever, that'll turn off. So that's what's happening over there. I can get rid of that now. Um, so yeah, when we flick the, the lever, this will turn off and it comes down here and into this block with one torch on top. This looks nothing like what's over there. It's just a, an enlarged version of it. Um, and the same thing happens on the other side here, if we have a look at this. We have the torch here, the redstone coming down to this block. And essentially what this is doing is if we only have one lever off, which I'll go do now, it's exactly the same thing that was happening over there. If we have one lever off, you'll see this line is off, but this torch is still off because the other lever is still on. We still have power going to the block. We need to turn off both power sources for that torch to be able to turn on. So if we go back and now turn on the other lever, you see the door opens and we come down here and this torch is now on because there's nothing that's turning it off. If we come over here to this one now, we'll move on. Move on to the OR gate where one can be on or the other one or both. Now this one's pretty simple. You don't even need, you really don't need to make it a gate to be honest. I've made this more complicated than it has to be because um, in reality it could just be a simple redstone line going to the door. But what we've done here, we've got the same setup as over here. We've got the lever going to the torch, going to the redstone. But what I've done here instead, instead of having having it power a torch below the door, it actually powers this torch here, which inverts the signal and sends it to this block. So that means that this is always off if the lever is off. So it's in the same state that the lever is. So when I turn it on, the door will open on either one. Um, and then finally we got the NOT gate. You can see the lever is actually on right now. As you can see, if you come around here, that means it's on because that's powered off. And if we come around here and just flick that on right now, you'll see the door opens when it goes off. So those are our basic logic gates. I know this probably sounds... I, I just don't feel like I'm explaining it very well. I've got to be honest. But I'm really hoping that you are grasping this um, well enough. So we'll, I guess we'll come over here real quick and we'll build some of them again and we'll, we'll go over them. So our inverter, once more, is simply an input that changes state. So our output is always going to be the opposite to our input, essentially. Our input is off and our output is on. And if we turn our input on, the output goes off. So it just, it just flips it, essentially. That's what that's doing. So that one's easy. That should be easy to know. Now our OR gate has two inputs, like this. We have two torches and some redstone coming away from it. Um, and what this is going to do, if you remember, if we have one input, it'll stay on. But if we have two inputs, 
um, it'll go off. Um, this is probably, uh, I've explained that badly, sorry. So this has one on, so this is going to be on. This has both off, uh, both of these torches are off. We look at this part here, ignore the inputs for now. Look at this part here, both of the torches are off, so the output is off. But if we activate one of the torches, the, the output is on. And if we activate both, the output is on. Deactivate one, it's still on. So that's our OR gate. Come over here to our AND gate, and our AND gate is a combination of our, our NOT gate, which is right here. So we can do our NOT gate right there. And then we just chuck an OR gate over the top of it and join the two together like this. And have our inputs the same as that one. And now our output requires, I'll just bring around here so we can see, our output requires both of these to be on for it to work. One is on, it doesn't work. The other one is on, it doesn't work. Both of them are on, it works. So th this is our episode on logic gates. Um, next episode, I think we'll go into a bit more depth, I suppose, on some more things you can do with logic gates, I suppose. And we'll try and explain it a bit better. This episode has been a bit longer than normal because I really wanted to try and explain this as best as I could. And I hope, I hope this helped you with the basics. But right now, I suppose, what you're thinking is, how does this help me? Because I haven't really shown a situation where it's going to be useful to you, I suppose. I've shown you those doors, but that's about it. And that's not entirely useful for the most part. But we'll come back to this. We'll do some more logic gate work in the future. And we'll, we'll try and, I'll try and get some practical situations where they're going to be useful and where they're going to be needed. So until then, guys, I'm Flybaliki, and thank you for watching.